Hello to all of our friends from Lancaster General Hospital. It's great to see you this afternoon. This is Calvin and his brother Hobbs, and my name is Greg. And together we are a therapy team. We volunteer with an organization called KPETS, and hopefully many of you know, we in normal times would be visiting to see the health campus and the hospital every week. Now it's been about nine months since we've been able to visit and so I thought today might be a nice time just to do a little virtual pet therapy. That's really about the only way we've been able to do pet therapy uh, the last, uh, well, almost nine months. Um, but I thought I'd uh, introduce you. So those, there may be some of you watching this video that don't know Calvin and Hobbs. And this is Calvin. And here is his brother Hobbs. And they are 10 years old. They're miniature Australian Labradoodles, and one of the nice things about that, that's a big mouthful to say, but one of the nice things about that is they have hair instead of fur. So they're very soft, their, their hair is very soft, but what's really a benefit to my wife and I is that they don't shed. We both have allergies to most dogs that shed, and uh, miniature Labradoodles uh, have not caused a problem for us anyway. That's a good thing. And as I mentioned, we are a therapy team with an organization called KPETS, Keystone Pet Enhanced Therapy Services. And what KPETS does is they recruit and train therapy teams. Then they go out into the community and find locations that would like to have pet therapy visits and match up facilities with volunteers um, and in the, the last uh, full year that we've been able to actually volunteer in 2019, we had over 400 pet therapy teams. Now, Calvin and Hobbs and I are one team. We have 400 of those. We visited about 300 different facilities and donated over 12,000 hours of pet therapy. Now, since these guys get kind of crazy when they're together, I'm going to see if I can have uh, one of them go outside for a while, and then we'll get a chance to uh, spend some time with the other one. So, Hobby, why don't you come with Daddy? Come on with Daddy. Oops, sorry. Here, Calvin, why don't you go outside? Go on outside. Come on, Calvin. <laughs> Nobody wants to go outside. They say, wait, we want to stay here with you, Dad. Calvin, come on. Come on outside. <laughs> go ahead. Go on outside, buddy, just for a little bit. I just want to let people meet Hobbs for a little bit, and then I'll get you. All right, now we've got Brother Hobbs. Let's come on over here, Hobby. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up. So this is Hobbs, and, uh, you know, I mentioned that these guys have very different personalities, and uh, Calvin uh, is the good son, okay? Calvin does exactly what Mom wants him to do, and um, Hobbs is a little more curious about things. He's not quite as interested in doing the things that we want him to do. He's got kind of a mind of his own sometimes. But you know, one of the things that he loves is to be loved on, and that's really the most important thing for a pet therapy animal, uh, is to want to have interaction with folks, uh, want to be petted, want to be loved on. And I'll tell you, these guys really miss not ha being able to come and spend some time with you guys. And we're looking forward to, it looks like it may be a little bit longer, but when we can get back and actually be there with you. Now, when we visit uh, at the hospital, we usually are visiting once a week, and we have a chance to go and see our friends on 8 Lime. We go to 8 North. We go to the inpatient pediatric unit on 4 Fred. We also visit the non-invasive cardiac care group on 2. And then we, we drop by and see some other folks, the care management group. Then we also go to the health campus. And uh, we go out there typically on Wednesday afternoons and we spend some time in the medical infusions area. We go to cardiac rehab. We visit the Center for Breast Health. So we go to several locations when we're out visiting there. And uh, I thought one of the things that I would see if Hobbs wants to do is to have a bone. He really likes bones, right Hobby? Do you like bones? Let's see if he likes to, if he wants to do this. Can you sit? Good boy. All right. Now he's going to take a minute and just lay down and start chewing on that. Now I can let Calvin come in. Let's see how he's doing. All right, Javi, be a good boy. 
Now, Calvin has been fairly good outside here, but you can see he's standing at the door. He wants to get in here. And there he goes, he's off. All right, Calvin, come on over here, buddy. Hobby, leave it. Come here, Calvin. Calvin, come here, buddy. I know, now they're gonna fight over the bone. Come here, buddy, come here. So this is Calvin. Let's see if I can get him to calm down a little bit. And um, as I say, Calvin is our good son. And uh, Calvin, uh, like Hobbs, really loves to have, uh, to be petted, to get attention. And one of the things that Calvin really likes, Calvin, can you lay down? Can you lay down, buddy? Yeah. He says, this is what I like. I like to have my belly rubbed. And he says, that feels really good. So um, it's funny when, when uh, we're visiting at the hospital, uh, a lot of times we'll be in the hallway and we'll be uh, visiting with some of the staff folks. And Calvin will lay down like this and basically say, hey, come on and pet me. And uh, some of the staff will get down on their knees and they'll be petting Calvin. And one of the times that happened, one of the doctors came running down the hallway and said, did somebody fall? Did somebody fall? And it's like, no, it's just Calvin wants to get some loving. And that's, that's exactly what he does. Right, Calvin? Yeah. Are you going to go over and see what brother's doing? Why don't you go see what's, what's Hobby doing? What's Hobby doing? Well, you're getting down in front of me here. What's Hobby doing? He's, Hobby's over here in the corner. He says, I'm not going to let my brother get this. No, stay down. Stay down. All right. How about if we try one more little thing? Come here, boys. All right. Let's see if they'll take a treat. Now, they're kind of crazy when they're together. I've told you this before. Can you guys sit? Calvin. Bobby, do you want a treat? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we have one more for you, Calvin. Okay, one more. Can you sit? I know. You're very excited, aren't you? All right, Hobby. How about you, buddy? Come over here. Sit. There you go. Good boys. Good boys. You can see they've got their uh, Christmas neckerchiefs on and they've got some bells on too. Um, we wanna wish you guys just a Merry Christmas. We know how difficult things have been for you over these last nine months and know that you're in our thoughts, you're in our prayers. We can't wait until we can get back and see you guys uh, when, when uh, this pandemic begins to, to decline and it will. Sometimes it's hard to, to see that with the way things are going, but uh, Know that, that we love you, that we're looking forward to seeing you. Please stay safe. I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, and that uh, a, the new year brings lots of good things for you all, okay? Take care.